hit the riffles here. I saw the strike, I didn't feel it. Yep, you do, you do. Oh, oh. This is unbelievable. Right in the tip of the lip, man. Just like that, that's all it took. last time you know that we've been wading this creek kayaking this creek caught some excellent smallmouth we used active presentations this morning we're gonna switch it up and go with some jig worms and some tubes this afternoon we got a couple more hours to fish maybe an hour and a half we're gonna go back through those pockets and those holes where we found active fish where we found the fish with the active presentations and we're gonna throw some slower presentations around those areas see if we can get some more fish out of those same spots without having to stop and search along the way. This way we can be most efficient with our time. Let's see how it goes. Let's go ahead and peek over here where we pulled that big girl from. She must have just been sitting over here by one of these rocks. That might be her right there. That's a big smallie. The water is way more clear up here the further away from the river that we get. This creek flows into a nearby river and the further away we get, the cleaner the water gets. Now last year I was in here in the fall and I could not get past this area because the water was too high and it was very dangerous. I actually had to leave as much as I didn't want to, but it was nuts in here. Holy cow. Insane. There's some good holes past these riffles though. Let's see if we can find them. All right, Mr. Kayak. You're getting heavier the longer I'm out here. I just stopped what I was doing because there's a huge one. Sitting right here, looking into the current, swimming around in like no water. Yeah, oh. And I just scared him off. Yeah, he was sitting here and he started kicking through all these rocks, making a big ruckus. I was gonna keep moving ahead, but he's sitting over there by that. I don't think he's gonna, I can't imagine he's gonna bite again. I'm sure he's got locked up. moving yeah we got him we got him that's another dandy come here come here come here come here come here, come here. yes sir that's a fat one on that ned osho look at the gut on my little buddy there he's eating okay somehow he came back he hit that ned osho a second time that's uh Probably just under two. 15 inch smallmouth. Right on that little net ocho right there. That's all he hit. Okay, I'm getting in that shallow stuff again, kicking around. Yeah, I wasn't even gonna fish over here and then I saw him making a bunch of noise. Let's keep going. All right, we're gonna check our line real quick because I set that hard now. This is that 10 pound Invisex. Seagar makes. I've not had any issues all morning with uh, the line jump in the spool, which I'm very happy about. Because that's been a major problem with the red label. Let's get up on this rock. Nice little overhang there. was a far hook set. I could see him pick it up from a mile away and he looked huge. He is not. There's another one over there though. Okay. Let's see if we can get his buddy. There's a couple swimming around in here for sure. I 
getting into the little ones now that we're using a smaller bait. Ooh, you really choked that down. There we go. Okay. There's one of your big friends. I see. <laughs> That's a better one. That's a better one. That's a nice one. Whoa. Whoa. Come. come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. He came out and smoked it. That's a good one. Let go of that mustad. That's another one that's just under two, I bet. Healthy fish. What a beaut. Okay, be free. Right under that rock right there. Nice. All right, let's see if we can walk up the side a little bit. And pull the yak with us and get up there more. I'm trying to move as quietly as possible so that I can throw back on these fish on my left here. I think that'll stay put. No, it won't. <laughs> Come back. Come back. All right, let's go further up. We're a little further up. This spot looks awesome. We got a deep cut in the middle here. A little bit of shade too. It's getting warm. Let me see if we can float our jig worm through here. Drifting right down in there. Yeah, there's one. Oh, quick release. Quick release. Got any buddies in there looking to eat? I bet you do. Yep, you do. You do. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Come here, you're stinking up my kayak. Ooh, making it smell like success. <laughs> Pretty fish. Back down she goes. Okay, we're gonna keep working this hole right over in that spot. They might be stacked up even more than that. We'll see. Stay hooked up, you stud. Oh my gosh. Going deep. That's a nice bass. That's a really nice bass. Oh, I'm gonna fall in. No, 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 no. I know, you don't wanna be next to shore like that. I know. Oh my gosh. That is another freaking stud. Look at that beast of a fish. This is unbelievable. Right in the tip of the lip, man. Just like that, that's all it took. That's almost as long as the last one. Here, about from there. It's about an inch, an inch shorter than the last one. Guarantee that's pushing three pounds. Oh my gosh. Jeepers <laughs> criminy. This is unbelievable. Oh, what a day. That is the second best smallie I've ever pulled out of here on the same day, sitting down at the bottom of this deep little hole right here where these riffles cut right in. Let's get them back. Or her, it's probably a her. Decent belly on that one too, she's eating. She goes. Wow. Wow. This is like my best day ever in this creek. Holy cow. It bent out just a smidge. That's why we're using this stouter hook with this heavier line. That's 10 pound test is a lot heavier than a lot of guys like to use, but 
I like to stick them with these bigger hooks instead of light wire because fish like that fighting pulling into the current it's not hard to bend a hook out when they got some weight on them let's do a couple more casts whoa almost lost her well we made it pretty far and we got another little cross section there's some more riffles here there's what looks like a bend by some tree roots and then we have another little incoming creek right here. So I'm going to put the kayak back here and we're going to work around in this area. See if there's any waiting in here for some chow. See all the roots? Ooh, that water is warm. Question is, do we start up here or do we start casting here? I'm not sure. So I'm just going to fire one. Kind of a little bit of a sunny spot pocket looking thing right there oh that might be another big one that's another dandy that's another dandy look at that fish that is another beast come here there's another big one swimming with it that is another beast of a fish <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, I can't see you in the mud, I'm making a whole bunch of mud, this is, this is why I use 10 pound test, just let me get a look at you, oh my goodness gracious, oh my goodness, that is another beauty, same spot as that last one, right in the tip of the mouth, they're just like chewing on it, my goodness oh look at that right in the tissue yeah didn't take much long one let's get a get a measure on that i need to put a measuring something like measuring marks on my reel here that's about two inches shorter than the big one it's where my thumb is at under that medallion mark easy over two pounds though well, it's a little more muddy over here, but that is another butte. That's another butte. That's two really good ones on the jig worm. What a day we are having. This is unbelievable. Thank you, girl. Wow. Never in my life, never in my life have I caught smallmouth like I have today. How's our line after that? This line is holding up like an absolute champ. That, okay, we gotta retie now. It's a little chewed up. Better safe than sorry. I don't wanna lose another fish like that. I'm just doing a simple Palomar knot. And all I'm doing with my extra line Throwing it in the kayak, taking it with me. Don't muck these places up. Can't stress that enough. So that was the same deal, right on the backside of this root system over here. A Little bit of sun and a little bit of a pocket. Let's quietly try to repeat that exact same thing. That's a little bit close to that tree right there. Yep, yep, another one. Fighter, but not as big. Ooh. <laughs> really nice one. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Nice fish, pound and a half. Pound, we'll go with a pound and change. Pound and a quarter. See you, buddy. My jig is beat up, man. Beat up. But the more that plastic gets chewed up, the better it's going to work. More salt, more scent. i got about a bazillion tadpoles next to me. I think those are tadpoles. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see that. Holy moly.
There's a nibble. That's decent. That's decent. Decent. Pulling hard right into that current. That's why we don't want a light wire hook. I just, I just like to horse them a little bit. And that's a solid chunk right there. No question. No question. No question. Come here. Come on. Dude. <laughs> Come here. Solid one. Very strong. Pound and a half. Very strong. That jig is firmly placed right up in the roof of his mouth. Not bent. Don't think I'll have to retie either. Give us a kick. Nope. I'll push that grub back up there and get right back over there. There's a little bit of a drop off right there on a big rock. There's just a little, it's just a little drop right there, like a foot and a half. The sun's hitting it right and I can see in there. There's some big rocks. Change. Now the sun's getting up and I'm seeing some swipes and some misses. One more took it, one more. What's up, buddy? Come here. And you guys are, oh, you're spitting up leeches, I think. Is that what you were eating in here? Leeches and tadpoles, I betcha. Ah. Cool. Well, this has gone well, but it's about that time where we gotta start heading back. So we're gonna switch to a different, different bait. We're gonna try a tube on the way back. We're gonna hit those spots specifically where we caught fish. I got a little bit of a hike in front of me, so let's get to moving. We're back a bit. We're gonna fish around in here and we're gonna float this gets it tube. I got a rattling jig in there. It's a little bit oversized. It's a little bit heavy and it's a little bit oversized. So we're gonna see if I can fish it without getting too hung up. I already got hung up. <laughs> Son of a gun. That's why we've been using a 16th ounce all day. No, don't do that. Shoot, there's four fish here and I just got hung up. Dang, that line is strong. All right, let's retie. Okay, we're gonna go back at these fish. Now I got the same tube, but I got a eighth ounce ball head jig in there. Punched out the side. A little bit at the tip where I didn't push it up. We'll cast around just a smidge here. Got one. Little guy. That's the first one on the gets it tube. Need some scent. See you, partner. Yeah, those are big carp. Whole bunch of them. Those are carp. Couple real little smallmouth circling around with them. Yeah, big carp. Look at them coming right at me there bunch of them there's a big one cruising through thinking about it oh didn't get hooks he ate it I just missed it okay let's walk a little bit and cast right by these riffles see if we get another Another good bite. I just missed the one. Oh, that gets deep. That's deep. Oh. Uh. Strong 
fish. Strong fish. Not a big one, but a strong one. Good one. Don't bend my hook out, partner. Lighter hook than I was using. That's a good one. That's a chunky one. Nothing wrong with that at all. See, partner? We got a little bit of a deeper, darker spot here. I'm going to stand in the shade and just cast out. Earlier today, this was where we caught our big honking jerkbait fish. That's a rock. Get off of there. And the amount of crap this is picking up. Almost need to have a weedless presentation in here. There's a pot of fish swimming around there, but ooh, you're dark. You're darky. Dark one. Look at the look at the dark fins on that. What were you hiding in? I'm gonna guess the shade. Ooh, there's a couple bass right there. I saw the strike, I didn't feel it. Good one. Good average size. Nice one. We got into a pot of them here. You can feel once that weight changes. As soon as you get some of that on there and you feel that weight change, either snap it to try to free it or reel it in and peel it off because it ain't gonna bite it. Well, we've got a bit of a bite going with the tube, don't we? I'll be darned. Good one. See ya. All right, let's keep moving ahead. Got to get back home at some point. Okay, we're back to a spot where we missed some good ones. This morning here. See if we get some active biters. It's real bright. There's little pockets of shade. There's a tappy tap. Yep. Good one. They're all good, man. Make me tip of the lip on that. Pretty fish, under a pound. Chunky though. I gotta get in the shade, I am burning alive. Got somebody's attention. His. <laughs> well. I'm getting a little more confidence in this tube. No question about it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's over a pound. That's a pound and a quarter easy. We got her. Over a pound easy. Beauty. Beauty. See you, my friend. In shady bits. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Good one. Look at him running way over there. Look at him go. That's going to be the one to end it on today. Come here, 
but come here. You're just as pretty as your friends. They are all just as beautiful fish. Get them right back. See you, buddy. I lied, one more. I lied, one more. One more. <laughs> one more on the tube. That's another good one. Just good quality smallmouth all day long. All day long. All day long. I could catch you all day, partner. We'll see ya. Well, as much as I know that we could keep catching fish pretty much all day if we found these shady spots and these holes and kept, kept hitting them with different presentations and going back and forth, I gotta get home. The missus has been holding down the fort. I gotta relieve her and help her out. What a day. My best day smallmouth fishing in a creek, probably hands down, and it's my first trip in Illinois this year, fishing creeks. Thanks for hanging out, I appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.